Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Latravia's Kitchen. Today we are making lasagna. Now I know you guys probably already seen the chicken alfredo lasagna video. Wonderful by the way, it tastes like it comes from a restaurant. But this lasagna is my take on a regular lasagna. So let's jump into the ingredients. What we have for our meat portions, we have some mild, mild Italian sausage here, and we're gonna do some ground beef. Now, the only thing I could find in the store was 73% um, lean, so you know we're gonna drain a lot of that, like all of that fat off of there. So those are our meat portions inside the lasagna. Um, for our sauce, we're gonna do the same thing that we did for our baked spaghetti, because I love that homemade sauce oh so much. So if you haven't checked out the baked spaghetti video, head over um, when you get a chance and check that out. But the ingredients for our sauce, we're gonna need tomato sauce, right? So this is about like a 29 ounce can, and I also have a 15 ounce can. Um, normally I'll do probably about like two 15 ounce cans, but because lasagna is a little bit more deep dish than what I'm gonna be what I did for the base spaghetti or whatever. We're gonna go ahead and pour this on in here. So we got our tomato sauce. Then, next up, for our sauce, we're adding in diced tomatoes, the Hunt's diced tomatoes. Already has a little bit of the seasonings in there. So we have two of these these are about 14.5 ounces. We're going to go ahead and dump those diced tomatoes in there. Next up in our sauce, we're going to add a cup of water. One cup of water. Get that in there. Also, dice up some of our fresh parsley. Let's go ahead and get that in here as well. All of our fresh parsley leaves. Dump them on in, dump them on in. I like using these because 
has um it does add a nice flavor. One thing that you could do when it comes down to like leaves, as I just said leaves, this gave me an idea. Um, two bay leaves. You can put them in there, but the thing is you're gonna have to remember the fishing bag out. No. Some people don't, but me on the other hand, I just don't want them in there. I don't wanna have to feel like I got fishing bag out. So um, another thing is Italian seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on in here. Need some black pepper. Put that in there. Even though yes, we put some diced onions in. I'm gonna put a little bit of onion powder in there as well. A little sprinkle of regular salt. sprinkle of seasoning salt. That Lowry, yes. Go ahead and put some of that in there. And last but not least, some sugar. Yep, I put sugar in my spaghetti sauce, so therefore this is the same sauce. So what that mean? Sugar going in my lasagna sauce too. Not a lot. A couple tablespoons. Alright. Now, exact measurements as close to them, they will be down in the description box down below. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and give this a nice stir. Um, it would help if I remember to turn that stove by on. Yeah, that would have helped a lot. We could have been already cooking. But, um, yeah, make sure you got your stove by on. I forgot. Um, so, now we're going to just give this a nice stir. Get it all nice and mixed and combined here. And what we're gonna do, I know you guys probably hear that. I have on the back stove eye that's out of camera range. My lasagna noodles are like trying to come to a boil. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get them going so that I could rinse them off and let them cool down so that I could touch them and manage them so they're already in the back, get ready to go. But we're going to bring our sauce to a boil and then we're going to bring it back down to a nice simmer and let it cook. We'll simmer for an hour. So after about 40 minutes, we're going to come on over and we're going to start browning up our meat. Um, that way, we get both packs of meat cooked up and everything. And then the hour should be done with our sauce. And we'll let it simmer for another 20 minutes with the meat inside. So guys, I will check back in with you guys in about 40 minutes. So 40 minutes has passed and we are going to start by picking up this mild Italian sausage. So let's go ahead and we've already sprayed our skillet and frying pan, whatever you want to call it. I've already sprayed it with some pan up on the stick with this sprayer. Way more seasoning. Way more seasoning. With my 
all mixed in. It smells so good. Like the sauce smells amazing. And one of the things that I like say we just already have some spaghetti noodles in the back. Let this simmer for like 20 more minutes. Get our spaghetti noodles. Just eat it that way. But um no. for another 20 minutes. And after that 20 minutes, guys, it's going to be time to do what? It's going to be time to assemble our lasagna. So I'll check back in with you guys in about 20 minutes. So guys, it's time to assemble our lasagna. Um, what we need now is to take this ricotta cheese right here, and we are going to plop it down in this bowl.
and then repeat. Back in the oven 
for another 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll check back in with you guys in about 15 to 20 minutes with the finished product. Guys, that extra 15 to 20 minutes with the aluminum foil off is complete. And this lasagna is heavy. So good thing I did put it on this pizza pan, guys. Whew. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for about five, somewhere between five and 10 minutes. Of this, you know, when you wanna cut it to it, you want it to have that nice, you know, rectangle piece that most lasagnas all have, right? So like always, all of the ingredients and the instructions will be down in the description box down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, until next time, bye.